Here we go. We're going to make this jelly. So hopefully, it will turn out. So I have this beautiful, beautiful, I mean, it's just beautiful. I don't even want to use that, but I just want you to see it's like a juice. So it all drained perfectly well, and that's the way it should look. So I'm going to go ahead and count the cups. One, two, three, four, let's say about four and a half cups. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some rosé to it, which is going to make it even more. So I'm going to go ahead and add a half more cup, which make it five, which makes it five. <clears throat> Six. And a little bit more. Six and a half cups. So, while that's heating up, be heating up, um, you have your warm sugar in the oven. So that way the sugars can dissolve a lot quicker. It should be warmed up enough. Very careful when you take it out. I put it in a Pyrex um, pie, pie crust, in a pie, um, <laughs> pie pan, a glass pie pan. I like those. Be showing you how to make pies in a minute. Okay. Then I'm gonna wait till that heats up. Okay. So I'm still straining a little bit of this. I'll probably leave this overnight and then just have some some that just drain through and then if you want to make some wine, I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there. If you want to make some wine um, out of it, then that's great. Uh, if you want to make some um, syrup, that would be good as well. Okay. So that should be boiling up soon. I'm going to take my wooden spoon. Just stir it. Then I want to go ahead and count my um, sugar. I'm going to use this big one. So I want to get like, this one has three, this one's already pre-measured, and this one has um, three cups in it. I have a um, package of um, fruit pectum, just in case. So, and I may want to even use it, so basically what you do is you just open it up, and you should have a little instructions in there, and it'll tell you. Oops, very easy instructions where you could do the cook cook jelly recipes and it'll say like I have grapes, fresh grapes, da 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 da. So seven cups make seven cups, three and the third cups includes lemon juice, <clears throat> five and a third cups of sugar. So I mean not lemon juice, um, so three and three fourths cups. Prepared juice includes with the water and the lemon to prepare the juice, which I have wine, and I want to put five and a third cups sugar, but, and then I could use one pack of pec pectin in there. So, and it'll make seven cups. Um, I may want to hit and use go ahead and use that so I'm going to go ahead and add another cup of sugar it should be about a good 
that's four cups. So what I'm thinking, now there's recipes that tell you if they're medium pectum, you know, just the equal amounts of sugar with the fruit or the juice that you're using. And then some recipes say to use more, like about a, uh, like a third more of the one and, and a third more of its weight. So I'm kind of just winging this <laughs> because every recipe is different. I have all kinds of ingredients and I know I have some some high pectum fruits in here and medium pectum fruits. So with that, okay, now that I brought that to a boil, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour my sugar. I know it's a lot of sugar, but it's just the way it is when you're making jellies. So okay, so I have four cups of that and then do another cup. That's five, that's six, so that's almost the equal amount. And you don't want to use 20% less of the sugar than what it, it calls for. You know, there's kind of like a science in making this um, jelly, and I'm not still learning. And um, it's always good to have like as much support as you need as you can get. There's plenty of groups if you can ask questions and Everybody has like difference of opinions and because you don't know, for one, the fruit is different in every region, wherever it grows, because the dirt and the climate and everything, and that goes with all your vegetables. I'm gonna bring this into a high rolling, a hard boil. And that's a little over 200 degrees, which is about 220 degrees. Seven. I put seven, let's put eight, let's put one more. Find the sides. Yeah. The rose, I could taste the rose in there. And as it boils, the alcohol is going to um, evaporate. But the rose is really, really nice. It just gives it a nice, I don't know, it just gives it a nice little flavor. I don't taste too much of the rosemary. Um, you could add a little bit more rosemary if you wish. So I'm gonna go ahead. I just think rosemary goes well with, um, with grapes for some reason. So that's going into a hard boil. So I want to get it in there with that rolling boil. Just gonna be nice. Okay, get it in there. Bring that to a nice rolling boil, and you want to stir it to make sure it's not going to. Scorch on the bottom. Okay, I can smell it now. The ro uh, the rosemary, and I just wanted to get just a hint. Oh yeah, let's put a little bit more in there. I could I could smell the orange, but I couldn't smell the rosemary. I really want that rosemary in there. So you got rosé, you have plums, you have grapes, you have rosemary, orange, a little bit of the cloves. It's nice.
Oh. Yeah, I can smell it. It smells good. It's not too much where it just overpowers. It's going to cook for a while. I'm so excited. So there's scum developing in here. I'm going to show it. It's already setting. I didn't even add the pepkin. There you have it. It's boiling. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and test it. want to do is, is bring it into a hard boil. Go ahead and add my packaging. Just want to make sure. I turned it off because it's trying to boil over. So when in doubt, add the pectin, which is what I did. 